fuel and more. Now we want to get more on uh, this whole situation. We have a terrorism expert with us now, Mika Halpern. Mika is America Online's Israel columnist. He's researched terrorism extensively and frequently lectures on the topic. Mika, appreciate you being with us. As a matter of fact, you're here visiting relatives. You live in Jerusalem. Exactly. Yeah. The question I've been asking all day, and I'm so glad you're here, is how in the world could this happen to the largest, greatest superpower to ever exist? What happened to our intelligence and our counterintelligence? How come we didn't know this was going to happen? Well, the first reason why it happened is because America is a great democracy, and it uh, preserves and embraces freedom. And as a result, a tremendous amount can happen under the noses of democracy. The other reason how it could happen is fundamentally the United States is a target, a target of terror, because it does not agree with the essence of fundamentalist Islam. So you're saying this is not about our supporting Israel. This is a much larger issue. Yes, it's, uh, it is absolutely not about the United States support for Israel. It's rather about who the United States is. The United States represents freedom, democracy, equality for all people. It represents uh, a Satan, ultimately, uh, to fundamentalism. Mika, talk to us today now about the mindset of the terrorist, this incredible coordinated effort as to what happened today. Uh, how do you see it? Thousands of pieces had to be brought together in order for this to happen today. Imagine two planes coming from completely different places, mm -hmm. entering into the same airspace, hitting nearly the same target, but specifically two different places right next to one another. Not even to mention a Pentagon attack and another attack directed towards uh, Camp David. All symbols. Symbols are very important. But terror itself is not suicide from the point of view of the fundamentalist Islamic perspective. It's martyrdom. Martyrdom is essential, and martyrdom is embraced. It's heroic. It's something they can be proud of. It's something that can be passed on to, and their families can bask in the limelight. Who are these people? This has to be a well-orchestrated, well-organized group because, as you said, the choreography was unbelievable. That's exactly what it is. It's a well-greased uh, machine. It's not a single individual. It's a mistake to assume it is. It's tremendous movements and movements working together. Mm -hmm. It's movements of intelligence. It's movements of apparatus, uh, apparatuses, things that are uh, uh, integrated and interwoven.